Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video and sort of a first impressions on the new Juvia's Place lipsticks. I picked up seven of these. The only reason why I said sort of a first impressions is because I did try out the Libra shade the other day, but I have not applied any of the other shades that I got. I was so excited when I saw that Juvia's Place was releasing a whole collection of nudes because we love nudes on this channel. We love our pinky brown nudes. And I also predicted that we were going to be seeing a lot more deeper nudes this season. And just in general for future launches from every brand, I feel like we're going to see a lot more deeper nude collections. I feel like we've already been seeing it a little bit with eyeshadow palettes and I am so excited to be seeing it with lip products. I feel like fair to light skin tones have such a big variety of nudes that they can use that won't wash them out, that won't be too pale, but when you get to the medium, tan, and deeper skin tones, there are definitely a lack of nudes out there. A lack of variety, tones, undertones, shades, there's definitely a lack of nudes when you get into the deeper tones. So I am so excited about this collection and all of the other collections that we're going to be seeing from here on out. I even noticed Maybelline was coming out with deeper nude lip products. I am just so excited. So let's just get into it. I am so excited to see what these guys look like on me. These lipsticks are also not crazy priced. They are $14, which I would say is a good middle point from drugstore to high end. It's not, you know, a $20 lipstick, but it's not a $7 lipstick either. Juvia's Place also sectioned off the lipsticks into three different undertones, I would call them. One being peach, one being chocolate, and one being mauve. I got three lipsticks from the peach section. I got one lip lipstick from the chocolate section and I got three lipsticks from the mauve section. The first lipstick I'm going to go ahead and apply is Libra. Libra is described as a rosy peach nude. I feel like this really is a good, very true nude on me. It is probably the lightest I would go in terms of a nude lipstick. I definitely would not go any lighter than this, but I still think it has just the right amount of color to it where my lips don't look dead. These lipsticks are also matte, but they are very creamy and very velvety on the lips. The next peach nude I'm going to try is Me. Ooh. I don't know if I love... Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I don't know if I love the shape of the lipstick. I feel like the squared or like almost triangle but squared top is a little bit uncomfortable to use and it really did force me to do a good bit of overlining with this lip color. Juvia's Place describes me as a warm toned peachy pink nude. I don't know why Juvia's Place didn't come out with just pinky brown nudes. They should have added another category I feel like because come on Juvia's Place really? But yeah this is a color I would reach for literally daily. Like this is what I look for in a lipstick color. Oh, that's a winner. I love me. I love it. So the last peach nude I picked up is In Vogue. Oh, she's light. I probably would never wear this. I would never, ever, ever wear this lip color, but I do think there are some people out there that would, that would like a lip color like this. Ooh, I don't really, I hate, I hate how it's making my teeth look. I do not like this color whatsoever. I do not like how this looks on me. But I realize it could be somebody's cup of tea. Somebody could like it. Not me though. It's not my cup of tea. The next color I'm going to try is 2020. Looks like this. Looks like it's going to be another winner. This, by the way, is from the Mauve Nudes. Okay, I like it. This is what 2020 looks like. It is a little bit more cool tone than I was expecting, but honestly... I should have just been expecting that because it's a mauve. Juvia's Place describes 2020 as a light brown mauve nude. I don't see a lick of brown in here. 
I don't know where they got brown from, but definitely am considering it to be a mauve nude. I, I see what they were going. I see, I see where they were going. I definitely don't like it as much as I like me. The next color I'm going to try out is Chic. Oh, she is pale. She is pale. Oh my god. I would never in a million years wear a color like this. Oh my god. Kind of like the In Vogue shade, I can see this color being appealing to some people, but some people is not me. I don't like this at all. I don't like how it looks. It's This is horrible on me. Juvia's Place describes this as a warm toned soft mauve nude. I don't know where they got warm toned out of this, but that's what they're calling it. The next shade I have to try is Kebby. This is what Kebby looks like. Mmm. I like this. I like Kebby. I think it's cute. Kebby is described as a soft, cool toned pink mauve nude. Who made up these descriptions? I do really like it though. I can see getting use out of this in the fall and winter time. I think it is really cute. It's definitely different for me since it is more of a cool toned, but I think it's still flattering. The last shade I picked up from the new Juvia's Place nude lipstick collection is the shade Toffee and this is from the Chocolate Nudes. Mm. Pretty. Yeah, I don't love the way these lipsticks were shaped. They are just like kind of uncomfortable to apply. Oh my god, I love how Toffee looks. Toffee looks good. Toffee is described as a creamy mocha chocolate nude. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned. It's really flattering. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and swatch my favorite shades for you guys. So after swatching the seven Juvia's Place lipsticks that I bought from the new collection, these are the four shades that I like the most. This one is Toffee, which is what I'm wearing right now. This one is Me, which I really, really liked. This one is Libra, which I also really liked, and this very last one was Kebby. I went ahead and also swatched the other three so that you guys could have side-by-side -side comparisons. This one was Hashtag 2020, this one was Chic, and then this one was In Vogue. Chic and In Vogue, horrible. Terrible on me. Hate them so much. I don't think 2020 was so, so bad, but it definitely didn't fit into my favorites. I really like Toffee. I feel like I should be wearing browns like this more often. I think it looks really good. Why didn't anyone tell me? That is going to be it for today's video though. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this lip swatch video of some of the new Juvia's Place lipsticks. I didn't buy all of them because I didn't need all of them. Definitely let me know which Juvia's Place lipstick you guys liked best and which ones you're considering on picking up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys found it helpful. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully I see you next time.